Welcome. In today's session, we're excited to demonstrate the process of crafting and visualizing an autoencoder with our innovative Blender add-on, showcasing one of the most widely utilized neural network types. Additionally, we'll delve into the practical problems it addresses. An autoencoder is a neural network that learns to compress data into a smaller number of parameters and then reconstruct it back. The main idea is to train the network to find hidden patterns and representations in the data. An autoencoder consists of three main parts, the encoder, which compresses the data, the hidden layer, which represents the compressed data, and the decoder, which reconstructs the data back to its original form. Autoencoders have several key applications, data compression to save space, noise removal to improve data quality, anomaly detection to identify unusual data, and generating new data based on learned representations. For example, autoencoders can be used to remove noise from images. Noisy input images pass through the autoencoder, which is trained to restore clean images at the output. Another example is anomaly detection. An autoencoder is trained on normal data and can identify anomalies that differ from usual data, which is useful for monitoring and security systems. And finally, data compression. Autoencoders can compress data to smaller sizes to save space and transmit data with minimal loss. In this video, we will guide you through using our Neural Network Creator to design a 3D neural network in Blender, customize its parameters, and visualize an autoencoder for noise reduction in images. Let's dive in. So, let's navigate to the Addon page via the link provided in the description of this video and download the Addon to your PC. For instance, you may download the file to your desktop. The Addon file is named Neural Network Creator Zip. Now, it's necessary to install the Addon. To do this in Blender, go to the Edit menu, select Preferences, and then from the list on the left, choose Add-ons. Press the Install button at the top right of the dialog box, navigate to the desktop, and select the required zip file. There's no need to unpack anything. The add-on installs in this zip archive form. So, click on the zip archive icon and press Install Add-on. The new module will appear in the list of add-ons. Then, you need to check the box next to it, that is, next to the Line Add Mesh Neural Network Creator. Now you can close the menu, delete the default cube, and start creating our neural network. To create the neural network, press Add Mesh. In the list of options besides the classics such as cube, UV spheres, and others at the bottom of the list, you will see two new positions, 3D Neural Network and 2D Neural Network. In this case, we need a three-dimensional neural network. Select this option. Here you can scroll the mouse to see more clearly what we are creating. On the left side of the 3D viewport, you can see a menu that allows you to adjust various parameters. Our future neural network autoencoder should have six layers. So, we increase the number of layers here to six. You see, the number of layers changes automatically. Now we need to set the shape of the neurons. There are three options here, cube, sphere, and disk. Let's choose the cubic option. You can play around with the neuron radius a bit. This is simply done by adjusting the neuron radius parameter. Next, the connection thickness can also be adjusted. Our add-in forms a fully connected neural network, that is, each neuron of the previous layer is connected with all the subsequent ones. We can also adjust the distance between our neurons, let's do this by reducing the layer distance factor. That's how simple everything is done. Now we set the required number of neurons in each layer of our three-dimensional neural network. The add-in automatically provides us with a separate adjustment field for each layer, based on the number of layers we have chosen. The first layer has 100 neurons at the initial layer. We select 100 and look, we already have the required number of neurons on this layer. The next layer has 49 neurons. During the formation of the neural network in the 3D viewport, it is convenient to switch to the view of orthographic projection. Let's do this by clicking on the grid icon right under the camera icon. Now our neural network is more concisely represented on the screen. Let's deal with the next layer. We set it to have 25 neurons. The fourth layer is also determined to contain 25 neurons. Just select the value of 25 in the layer number field. We define the fifth layer to have 49 neurons. And finally, in the sixth layer, we set 100 neurons. And so we get a fully connected neural network autoencoder that first narrows and then expands. Do you wish to continue with the settings? We can adjust the dimensions of the neurons. For this, let's say, let's put 0.12 in the neuron radius field. And let's make the connection thickness a little smaller. Suppose 0.015. That's how you see, you can customly adjust the neural network for yourself, as it is best for you, most useful for your visualization. When the layers are set up, you can press escape to finish working with the settings menu. 
As you can see, in just a few seconds in our 3D viewport, we created a fully connected neural network with many neurons and connections and, importantly, automatically placed it in a separate collection. You can try, for example, to temporarily disable the collection to make sure that all these thousands of new objects are under our control, and then also check the box in the outliner to enable its visibility. You see, the neurons and connections of the neural network we created are stored in a separate collection. This way, you can very easily manipulate your new neural network in Blender's 3D space. We save our file, let's name it AutoEncoder001. Another convenient feature of the neural network we built is that the neurons were created by the AdMesh neural network creator Adin as instances. Therefore, if you need to change all the neurons in some way, for example, change their shape or size, you can do it very easily. For example, let's change the size of all the neurons. Select any neuron, go into edit mode or press tab and the A key on the keyboard to select all elements of the neuron in edit mode. Now press the S key and thus begin to increase the dimensions of all the cubes simultaneously by moving the mouse to the left. Let's increase their size so that say our cubes correspond more to the pixel representation of a 10 by 10 image. It seems to me that in an auto encoder processing an image, the cubes should be positioned to almost completely fill our spaces. You see, by editing one instance of a cube, we have changed the entire structure of the neural network. Let's admire the result of the work. You can rotate our creation in the 3D viewport from different angles, see how it now looks from the side or in a semi-turn. Now we can move on to animations and adding beauty to our visualization, adding animation, lighting parameters, materials, and other details necessary for our video, which will expressively and vividly demonstrate the principle of the autoencoder neural network in 3D. Now, let's visualize the autoencoder that reduces noise in images. First, let's refine the materials. For the neurons, assign a material. Add a color ramp node to the base color and connect it to the random value from the object info node. This will create multicolored neurons. Similarly, create a separate material for the connections with distinct colors in the color ramp. During animation, if our neural network is trained, the connection colors will remain constant, symbolizing the trained network. However, we can animate the neuron's colors by adding a frame consideration parameter to our node, making the neurons in the layers flash in different colors while the connections stay constant. Next, we will focus on the scene's appearance. Choose the best angle and press Ctrl-Alt-0 to bind it to the current camera view. Create a pedestal object with a large, low, flat cylinder. Add two spotlight sources and direct them at our pedestal to clearly illuminate it. We can set the camera rotation by creating a circle object and binding the camera to the neural network. Using Ctrl-P, parent the camera to the circle. Set the rotation of the circle, making the camera move around the neural network. Switch to the EV render engine. In the world settings, create a volume scatter node to make light sources cast beams in a fog-like effect, beautifully illuminating our pedestal. Finally, prepare a series of noisy and cleaned images. Activate the Import Images as Planes add-on, add the images as planes, and set their rotation by adding keyframes with Ctrl-I and setting the desired angle. Align each image with the input layer of our neural network. Add the cleaned output images in the same way, making them emerge from the final layer. This creates a beautiful animation where noisy images fly into the input layer and cleaned images fly out from the output layer. The neural network blinks, showing how it processes everything. We've taken you through the fascinating world of autoencoders and demonstrated how the neural network creator add-on for Blender allows you to visualize these powerful neural networks. From understanding the principles of autoencoders to applying them in practical tasks such as noise suppression, anomaly detection, and data compression, we've covered a lot of ground. If you found this video informative and enjoyable, consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content on Blender add-ons and neural network visualization. Remember our add-on, the Neural Network Creator, is available for download via the link in the description. With it, you can dive deeper into the world of neural networks and unleash your creativity. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.